Hello YouTubers. Today we're working on this 2000 uh, Jeep Cherokee Sport. It's a 4.0. And the issue is having its uh, crack but no start. So uh, it belongs to my neighbor's friend. He came over to visit my neighbor and then when he was ready to leave it wouldn't start. So he came over and knocked on my door and asked me if I could change the spark plugs. And I go, well, yeah, what's going on? He goes, well, my car won't start. And he had another mechanic over there looking at it. And uh, the mechanic said he wasn't getting no fire, which is true. And uh, he figured to start with the spark plugs. So I asked him, are you getting gas? He goes, yeah. He goes, I hit this Schrader valve and it's squirted gas. And I told him, well, let me check it by taking this off and spraying it with carburetor, cleaner, or starting fluid. I'm not too crazy about these, you know, checking it through here because me and my brother worked on a vehicle one time and uh, uh, it wouldn't start. So I asked him, is it getting gas? He goes, yeah. He goes, I squeezed that and gas came out. Well, I said, let me check it through here. So I took that off and I sprayed it and it started right up. So we figured it was the fuel pump and it did turn out to be the fuel pump. I don't know why, maybe it's not getting enough gas to, over here. or I don't know why it does that, but I'm more uh, confident checking it through here, spraying it with a starting fluid or something. Anyway, then uh, I checked it for spark, and the way you get to these uh, spark plugs is you take off one, two, three, and four bolts. They're pretty long bolts, and then you pull the whole coil assembly out. And there you can see where the spark plug goes. It's a pretty dirty motor, and I use these. These are cheap. I get them at Harbor Freight. Uh, you can get one with the nail shape at the end or the straight one and then it'll fire up if you got fire when you try to crank the vehicle and these are the bolts that come out of here when you take off the uh, coils that's how they look and uh, let me show you how I, this thing works real quick pull the coil and you stick this in where the coil goes I know you can't really see, but I can't pull that out all the way. And then the other end goes on the spark plug. And then when you try to fire it up, you'll see this light up. And uh, I wasn't getting no fire. So, I checked the fuses. None of the fuses were blown. They were all good. Put that cover back on. So then my next step was to check this uh, cam sensor. And I do have a scanner and I scanned it and that's what it was reading the, the cam uh, shaft sensor. So uh, I pulled this off just to see what's going on down there and this is what I found guys. Let me zoom in. Now all you do is you squeeze this tab over here where my thumb is at and it comes out. When I lifted this up, this thing's broken. Look, at, there's a bunch of little plastic parts in here. Look, right there and right there. I don't know if it even messed this up because it's all, those parts are stuck on there real good. Try to zoom in. And if you look at the cap, it's broken. See, I've got a used one. Let me show you the used one. Okay, here's a good used one. This is what it's supposed to look down here. And here's the one that came out of there. It's all broken. So I'm 100% that's the issue. But there's a way you put these in there. It's not just pull, you know, plug and play. And I'll show you how to do that here. All right, YouTubers, let me show you something. I don't know if we'll be able to use this. We can try it, but. There's a lot of stuff in there. I pulled out a lot of junk in there. It broke it all apart. I had to dig in here. See, there's still some more stuff. I'm gonna have to use a vacuum to suck it out or compress there and blow it out took a lot of junk on there and look it kind of bent this little tab right here so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference okay 
Here's all the broken pieces that came out of the, with all that. Here's the good one. So see, they just got caught and broke all that apart. Let me get com some compressed air and clean that out over there. Okay, let's blow that out. Wow, that was a lot of debris in there, dust. Make sure y'all don't breathe that out and wear safety goggles. All right. Okay, I've got the coil uh, packs off and I have took the first number one spark plug out and I've got a rag in there for right now. That way I can check where top dead center is. I'm gonna stick a extension in there. And there's a lot of ways people do uh, top dead center different ways and this is the way I do it and it works for me. But there's a line on the harmonic balancer or the crankshaft pulley down there that you can't see. So I'm going to remove some stuff so we can see what we're doing. Okay. First, I'm going to loosen these bolts. You've got one, two, three, four. Holding these fans. you got two fans. They're eight millimeters. Like I said, this is already, already started on this. Or I would crank it so y'all could see what it's doing, but I've got a lot of stuff loose. Okay, then you got this one over here. It's held on by this little clip. Then you've got this plug right here for the fan. It's hitting in there. All you do is squeeze on this tab and it comes out. Just get that out of the way. And then you want to loosen this fan bolts, 13 millimeters. You got one, two, three, four of them. Loosen them while you have the belt on. You don't, you, you're not even going to need to take the belt off. Take them off when this uh, fan is loose, like I said, I already did. This uh, shroud is broken. I guess if it was intact, you just have to kind of wiggle everything out. Okay, now probably uh, repair that uh, hose right here because he's licking everything in there. It's busted, and I guess he don't care it's the overflow. So I'll fix that for him. Okay, now since this is broken, I was able to get the fan out first. But if yours is intact, maybe you're gonna have to wiggle both of them out, and then it comes out. And we have two little tabs here, one here and then this one, and they go down here on those slots down there. This one's a little bit harder because you actually still got clips on it, but you're going to have to scoot it that way to get it out. Set this camera here real quick. So I have to press down on this in a little bit. And pull it out that way, but be careful not to break nothing, then it'll pop out. Scoot it to the left, and it comes out. You see, these are the clips this one has down here. They were kind of caught on there, so I had to kind of yank on it. Okay, and there's that connector connection that you need to take off. Okay. And I put these bolts back on there just, you know, so I won't lose them. Not that pulley. Now, you have access. And you can see that line down there. Okay, see, with all this out, now you can see down here. And you can probably see, let me squeeze in there. The mark, you can see. And on the pulley itself, you're going to have a little, like a little chip right there. It's off white it's kind of scratched off but it's just got a little V shape dip in there you want to line that with number or zero and that'll give you top dead center okay zoom out so you know where we're at and what I use is a 19 millimeter on the crankshaft pulley here and I turn it I'll show you here how I do it Okay guys, what I do is I turn this till I get lined up over here. 
like I was showing you earlier, that uh, mark on the pulley that lines up to that zero. And when that happens, then you're supposed to have this. You've got a hole down here on the bottom here. And then on here, you got you have a hole. And let me show you how that works. Okay, the way you know you're lined up, you'll stick a toothpick in that bottom hole. And it should go right through. See it? It should go right through there but it wasn't lining up when I had it topped at center the hole on, on here was over here it wouldn't line up with that bottom hole so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this new I don't know what it's called the drive because I think it's messed up where all those pieces got caught on there it might have broke something let me show you what it's doing see if you'll be able to see now I don't think it's supposed to do this look this whole thing moves that's why it wasn't aligning you know, I don't know if that's normal or not. See, it'll move quite a ways. That's why I couldn't get it aligned. And then I think, let me pull on this, and it sure, sure enough, it moved. Well, it's not moving that much now, but earlier, dang, it just slipped like that. I don't know, maybe I can try it now, because it looks pretty stiff now. Let me use the other hand. Okay, I got it to move. I was trying to adjust it again. Look, it just moves a lot. Yeah, I think that's broken. So let's just go get another one. Let me get with the customer and see what he wants to do. Go new or used. All right, let me show you how I find top dead center. Like I said, everybody does it different ways. This is my method. I take a extension, but make sure it's not gonna drop in there. This one, when I when I'm down at the bottom, it, it, it goes up to about right here. So there's no way it'll get fall in there and I'll lose it. Then I turn the crank. And right now I'm at top dead center. See how far it is? And look as I turn, it's gonna go in. So I want to get back up to the compression stroke. See, I'm bottomed out right there. And it's fixing to come back up. See, it's coming back up. Come on, Ratchet. See, it's coming back up. But I hold it. Don't just let it lay in there. You could get it stuck somehow. See, it's coming back up. See, it's going back down now. But I'm just doing this so I can show you how I do it. And we go back up. And I'm looking over here at the mark while I'm holding that. Let me bring you over here. <clears throat> I'm looking for this mark right here. That's the one I, I put because when I see that mark, I know that little nick on the <clears throat> pulley is going to be coming up. It's probably somewhere back here. Where it's in front of it, I can't remember where I marked it. Okay, I've got the camera down here, so you can see when I see I'm getting there, and I'll mark it right there. I think that's it. Zero top dead center, and that's a 19 millimeter guy that I'm using. And if I stick this in here, that's all it goes in. We're at top dead center. Pistons on top. That's the way I do it, guys. And it works for me. Everybody has their way, but this works for me. You can do it however it works for you. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out the way this guy comes out. It's got a 13 millimeter bolt right there. Loosen that bad boy out. See if we can get it out. Okay. 
Okay. This is what you got holding it down. This is like when you do your timing, the distributor. You know, we should just be able to wiggle this thing out. Let's see this. Snake it around and see that's what it looks like. We set that down. See if we can look in the uh we get some light. Okay, that's looking inside and you can see there where that shaft goes in. That's why you need to align it. Not very good picture, but you can see in there. There you go. All right, here's the new uh, cam shaft synchronizer. Comes with a gasket right there so make sure you get that and sorry about the noise but i got my son mowing the yard it's now or never he was in a good mood so i should go for it and make sure you take the old gasket out let's try and get a better view here sometimes it'll stay on there and yeah, let me get it off It may not look like there's one there, but believe me, there is. See, the other part's right over there. So let's get that off. Nope. Let me get a pick. I can't get it off. All right, there. We got it all off. That side was stuck on there real good. I mean, it was on, on there good. That's why it broke off. But it's off now. Okay, YouTubers. I hope I'm not misleading you guys. But the way this is supposed to fit when you get it in there, it's supposed to be just like this. Right there. You're supposed to be able to put a pin through it. Or they say a toothpick. This has a hole on the bottom. And then this, let me show you on a used one. See, it's got that hole right there. And then inside, this is the bad one. See, it's got a hole in there too. See it? We set it down and point to it. Right in there. Can't really see it. Let me get something to point at it. Oh, here, I'll just show you. Here, right here. See that hole right there? It's supposed to line up with a hole right here on the outside it's supposed to put a pin or whatever say a toothpick just like i have it down here once it's like that you're lined up it's ready to go in its top dead center i showed you how to turn the crankshaft and i put a extension and i think ups is here with my parts all right everybody loves a ups truck Okay, yeah, UPS brought me some parts. Anyway, I, I don't know if they gave me the wrong one. You see, this one does not have that hole down here. So, the only way you would guess is to align it like this. And this is more or less what it's supposed to look when it's in there. Well, when I put it in there and I'm top that center, it's either this way, like right here, or up here. I mean, it's all messed up. I tried for about 30 minutes and I can't get it to line up at least like this. If I would have gotten it somewhere through here, I would have gone for it. But there's no way it's always up here or up here somewhere. So I said the heck with it. So I ran in the junkyard, pulled one off. It was uh, $20 they charged me for it. And look how neat it lines up. So you can see down there. Let's see if I got this light hooked up. Turn it on. It just lined up perfect. 
and there's a little bit of difference too see how smooth the top is on this one now this one look it's got these indentions so I'm thinking this might be for a newer year I don't know but I'm going with that used one that used one I'm more comfortable with so see what happens I don't know how good you'll be able to see but during that process trying to get that in there I lost this so I ran to the junkyard and I picked this up too while I was picking up that sensor you know I hope I got that gasket in there yeah I was gonna say watch I forgot the gasket all right it takes a 13 millimeter to tighten this bad boy down let's go ahead and tighten it now The way things are going, I'll end up breaking it. Now let's put the cap on. Okay, let's put that little cover on. Now I'm just gonna leave that uh, toothpick in there till I tighten this. Just to be on the safe side. Sure, I don't need to, but. All right, I'm sorry. The customer just showed up. He just wanted to see what was going on. And I told him it's been kicking my butt. But I told him I think we got it now. But now I can't get that toothpick out of there. So maybe that wasn't a good idea to put this on there first. Okay, let me loosen it. There we go. Yeah, that cap tightens down. So you don't want to put that, leave that there. And now the camera's in the way for me to swing this ratchet, so I'm gonna go little by little. But anyway, you, you, you see, you get the picture. Okay, I'm gonna get in your way so I can snap this in there. All you do is just push it in there like that. Oh, you gotta get it right in there. Just like that, and snaps in. All right, it's moment of truth. Let's see what does. I was gonna fire up real quick to see if it's gonna start. And if not, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Oops, I gotta put the coils back on. I'm gonna do that real quick. These and the spark plug. I was jumping the gun here, getting too excited. Okay, I've got the uh, coils on. I was getting a little too excited there and I was rushing. I got everything hooked up where it should start if that's correct and I still need the fan and the shroud but I can start it just for a little bit to see if it's gonna work because I mean what's the use if it doesn't I gotta take all that crud off and play with it again try to get top dip center let me set the camera here and I can watch and see if it's gonna turn on camera might fall it's not really secure where I put it let's see come on man Okay, it started, but I got that on there tight. I forgot this. I forgot I got those, so the belt was just squeaking around here. So, yeah, it starts so good. Let me put it together and see how it really sounds when it's running. Thank God. Okay, real quick before the customer gets here, when you put it back together, put this fan in first. You're gonna put it in through about the middle or even this way and then slide it all the way down there, snap it into those clamps. And then put the, sh well, you might have to put the shroud and the fan together if yours is in a whole piece, but this is broken. So I, I put the shroud in first, then I put the fan in there and I'm tightening up right now. But I didn't film that because I'm trying to uh, get it done. Okay, YouTubers, we're in the process of putting this back together. And I did loosen the serpentine belt, but I'll show you how to loosen that. Right here, front of this fan, not the top pulley, but this pulley down here. It's a 17 millimeter. You loosen that up, and then you start loosening this uh, 15 millimeter to where you, you can get the belt off. But, you know, you just keep turning till you're able to take the belt off. Now to tighten it back up, you want to tighten this 15 millimeter first. Get it to the proper tightening. 
tightness and then you go down there and you finish off this pulley you tighten this pulley tight and that'll keep that tension on that belt okay let me do that real quick all right youtubers i finally got it together thank god man it was just a bad day anyway look she's sounding good now Beautiful, I love that sound. Well, again, guys, thanks for watching, and like always, I appreciate you and good luck. And I hope yours goes a lot smoother than mine did. Like I said, I was just getting frustrated, had too much going. Thanks again, guys. Good luck. Bye bye.